Good morning guys, this is Wesley from Trusted Tips here. Uh, we're just doing a termite inspection and um, I just wanted to, to point out that you know, um, when you do a termite inspection, it's all about having the right tools. And here at Trusted, we're very conscious about having the latest technology, and we do. What you can see Warren is holding here is an infrared camera. But what I'm wanting to point out is these things aren't, uh, you know, you can't just solely rely on a uh, thermal imaging. The reason why we have got that where I'm pointing there, that discoloration down on the floor there, that's actually what we call a subnest. There is a lot of active termites in that wall. But you know what the thing is, Warren, it can actually cannot actually pick up the heat, which is meant to be occurring from those termites. So this thing here is meant to be picking up the heat for the termites in there, but it's not. How we actually found it was just through the old school tapping, and uh, and also experience. So guys. I'm telling you, these are the be-all and end-all. They are a tool. They do help. But, yeah, that's Warren's heat mark. Yeah, well done. You can see that heat mark that Warren put his hand on there. That's what it should look like behind that wall, but it doesn't. So, guys, I'm just saying, don't rely on thermal imaging cameras. What you rely on is his experience. Uh, and also the the company behind the and the inspector behind the term uh, behind the termite inspection, and having all the tools: tapping stick, moisture meter, thermal imaging camera. But I tell you guys, the big one, as I mentioned before, is experience. So, don't um yeah, don't think that just because you got a thermal imaging that it's going to work. Okay, guys, that's your tip for the day.